What is going on, Scott Squad? We are in the building. Happy Monday, y'all. Happy Monday to you. Happy Monday. Listen. Listen. We got some things to talk about. It's our little midday meltdown in the evening. Okay. For those of you guys who are new here for our midday meltdown in the evening, we tend to do this real nice and easy. Okay. If you're looking for the drive by T, go on ahead and catch our earlier video where we get right down into the nitty gritty. But right now, we about to do our little thing. You know what I'm saying? And our little thing is we do a little meet and greet beforehand. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna do put your location down in the chatterization so I can so I can hype you up real quick. You know what I mean? Uh, we want to know who we talking to. We want to know who our people are and where they watching from. And we're gonna get into a little bit of tea. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit. You know, just a little bit of Lipton. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of chaga. You know, that's what the people drinking now. They're drinking the chaga, you know, the mushrooms and things. OK, uh, not to be confused with the one, the psychedelics, uh, but uh, the chagas, you know, the, the stuff that's good for your brains that that Khalees be selling and, and, and the bounty in full. All right. Um, so we got Houston is in the building. St. Louis, Birmingham. I see you. Cleveland, Chicago, Jacksonville, ATL, Shorty, Sacramento, Texas, Charlotte, Queen City, baby. Southern Cali, Chesapeake, VA, A, 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 Harrisburg, PA, Laurel, Maryland, Oakland, baby. I see you. I see you. I see y'all. Come on, Southfield, Michigan. I know it's cold up there right now. New New Jersey, I see y'all. Who else? Long Beach, LBC, okay. Dallas, Texas, Glendale. We got Newark, Bermuda. Come on, from Bermuda, VA, Michigan. Come on, Richmond, Virginia, Virginia, Suitland, Maryland, Oakland, up in this thing. Horn Lake, I see you. Atlanta, Phoenix, Glen Burnie. Come on now, come on now, come on Harlem, come on Harlem, Boston, strong Boston, baby. St. Louis, New uh, New Orleans, yes, come on through New Orleans, Japan, mm-hmm, Tuscaloosa, New Orleans, I see you, baby, I see you, come on, Texas, oh, it's warm up there today, it's like, it's, it was warm down here today, too, Philly in the building, Bowie, come on through, come on through, Brandon, hey, new subscriber, we see you, welcome to the squad. Welcome to the squad. All right, y'all. So listen, now that we got a couple of intros out of the way, we got to talk about two main things right now before we dive into the magic that is Monday Night Television. You know what I'm saying? And by Monday Night Television, I mean Basketball Wives is back, baby. But before we get into the Basketball Wives, let's talk about a former basketball wife that is making her way back on to the screens. Oh, yes, I am talking about Miss Evelyn Lozada. Come on, D. Turner, with your Beyonce code, okay? I'm still waiting on mine, but that's another story for another day. So we got Evelyn Lozada, we got Tamar Braxton, we got Nivea, and we got the host, Holly Robinson Pete and her husband. Okay, so we got a lot of things going on with this new show, Queen's Court. Now, this show is a Peacock original, so it's gonna be on the streaming service Peacock. Now, I gotta be honest with y'all, I gotta be real for real, for real, for real, for real. Peacock is on the come up, okay? Peacock. Is on the come up. Let me just say it like that. Now, I know a lot of y'all don't mess with Miss Lozada, okay? Especially after, you know, the tragic ending that she suffered on Basketball Wives at her own hands. Um, However, comma, I'm interested in seeing her in a different format. You know what I'm saying? You know, for Tamar and Evelyn, we're so used to seeing them in conflict that we may sometimes forget how actually funny each of these ladies can actually be when they are at their best on reality television. Um, and so 
Also, I think to make this show even livelier is the addition of Nivea. And for me, Peacock, again, is on the come up because I would not have anticipated for them to, to, to go with this show. I'm just going to let you all know that now. So big ups to NBC Universal and Peacock um, because I think that this is a big, bold move in the right direction in terms of highlighting and spotlighting reality television and people of color for this particular franchise and this particular show. I think it's dope. I think it's new. I think it's fresh. I think it's original. And I think it is exactly the type of content that we have been looking for because so many of us are so tired of the same housewives formula. Don't get me wrong. We still love it, but you know, it's it's the let's go out to eat, you know, have some drinks, talk about each other. Who can we take down? Who got the best reads? Have a big event. Somebody's going out somebody else's husband for something like that. And, you know, who we going to take down? Who did what in they past 13 years ago that we can bring out now and talk about, you know, and then have a round robin Ponderosa about, you know, um, who and who in whose business, you know what I'm saying? And don't get me wrong. I, we still love that type of entertainment, but we also need variety. OK, we need variety. And so for me to see a show like this is like, OK, something fresh, something new, something different. You know what I'm saying? And again, listen, Evelyn Lozada may not be your cup of tea because I see some people in the comments, you know, and I uh, and I understand that. But for me, as a reviewer of, of television shows, and a lover of reality television, you know, it's my job to cover shows that I feel like are going to be on the cutting edge and that could have the potential to be great. Whether I like what a person has done or not, that doesn't always necessarily mean that I don't need to review the show. Um, Sometimes I will and sometimes I won't. Let me just put it like that. It just depends on how I feel about it. But for this one, I'm going to review it, I think. I think I'm going to at least check it out, right? Because it's got three I, like three major names from the reality TV space that have had an impact on reality TV culture. And so I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see what they bring. Let me read you guys the synopsis, okay? Now, the synopsis reads that um, Holly Robinson P. and Rodney P. introduced the the leads, aka Tamar, Evelyn, and Nivea, to their twenty one potential matches. So the, their love matches, right? And all three of the stars' past relationships have been heavily documented in the media. So Evelyn explains in the clip: as individual women, all of us have experienced very public relationships. And then Tamar says, it's really hard for me to let my guard down, but it's kind of time to take the bricks down. Now, the trailer kind of gives a lot of romantic drama, okay? And it shows the women bonding with one another. And the show's description says, love and happiness aren't always a guarantee for many women in the public eye. Finding a man who can handle her success, fame, and fortune can make things even more complicated because you know, <laughs> you know that these people, that these ladies have had some interesting relationships from Tamar and Vince to, I forgot, what was the other guy's name that she was dating with the locks? What was, what was Tamar's ex's name with the locks? David, David. Okay. David. Um, and then you had Evelyn with Chad and Carl, and then you had Nivea with the dream. Okay, so and Lil Wayne, it was Lil Wayne, right? She did Lil Wayne, right? I think it was Lil Wayne. So you got that going on. Lots of past drama. So can these ladies find love and happiness right now? That's the question. That is the question. All right. I'm interested. You know, we're gonna get um. There was another little thing out there. Oh, oh, so let me give you guys the actual description. Um, 
It says, with Queen's core mega producer, Will Packer. So this is a Will Packer production. Brings together three famous single women for an epic date, new dating series starring Tamar Braxton, Evelyn Lozada, and Nivea. Hollywood power couple, Holly Robinson Pete and Rodney Pete host a 10-episode series guiding the queens through the ups and downs of dating 21 confident and successful prospective suitors while the queens develop a sisterhood supporting each other on their quest to find a king fit for a queen. I think that this has the potential to be something great. I mean, it seems like they're going for something really positive here with a hint of drama. And the series will premiere on March the 16th on Peacock. For reference, March the 16th is going to be a Thursday. So Thursdays on Peacock Television, you will be able to watch this show. Now, um, let's move on because I need to know how many of you in the chat will be watching Basketball Wives tonight, okay? Tonight, how many will be watching a basketball show, the uh, the Basketball Wives show tonight? I know I will, okay? <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question. Are they really looking for love or are they really looking for the check? OK, we're going to be able to determine that at least in episode one, I think. But, you know, for the most part, anytime these people do re uh, their, these shows, you got to know that they in it for the check for the check, too. You know what I'm saying? You got to realize that. Uh, but who knows? I mean, Cynthia Bailey found love on a TV show. I mean, and it did not work, but she did find it. OK. She did for a while, okay? She did for a while. Um, <laughs> I'm sure she's going to find uh, love again because, you know, Cynthia is, I mean, Cynthia is, I mean, it's Cynthia Bailey. It's Cynthia Bailey. Now, what else is going on, okay? What else is going on? <laughs> Yeah, Cynthia. Okay. <laughs> Joy, it was a good reference. It was. <laughs> Everybody, it, love is not meant, every, every, every relationship ain't meant to last. Okay. <laughs> every relationship ain't meant to last. But sometimes the, the relationship is good for today. <laughs> sometimes it's good for today. Okay. Now. Basketball wives. <laughs> um, so we're gonna find out in tonight's episode of Basketball Wives exactly what happened between Brooke and her husband. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all because listen, somebody you know went off last like I don't know when it was about a week ago. Because they was like, you giving spoilers on your channel and you ain't even giving nobody no warning. I don't want to be spoiled. Okay, I was like, well, I, well, fine. I ain't going to spoil you no more anyway. How about that? Anyway, spoiler alert for those who don't like it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, get on my everlasting nerves. I tell you, people be they be so picky, you know. They can't just enjoy the tea for what it is. Just enjoy, just sip on it. Why folks can't just be happy sometime, you know? Just just a little joy snatcher. That's all they are. They just be joy snatching, just running around, snatching joy, just snatching it, you know, snatch the cat, right? Um now. Thank you, Lexi. Okay, I I want to I want to spoil you. You know what I'm saying? Let me spoil you. Okay, uh, let me pay for your hotel room, <laughs> or not? Okay, <laughs> come on, them legs. <laughs> right, Joy. I you decide if you want to watch. There you go. Happy birthday, K Unique. Um. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't think they go here no more. <laughs> RP, I don't think they go here no more. I think they left. <laughs> I don't think they're coming back. Now, 
<laughs> Woo, I get tickled with y'all. Okay, so listen, in this little uh preview clip, spoiler alert, um Brooke is sitting and having a conversation, a little ponderosa with um can I can I say something without seeming rude? Will y'all be mad at me if I say this? Is is it ever sometimes too much baby hair? Or is it just, I mean, because I, I shouldn't be, listen, they they beautiful, just beautiful. But sometimes I'd be like, wow, that's a lot of baby hair. Um, anyway, so anyway, um <laughs> I, I ain't no good today. Y'all, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. So anyway, um, Brooke. <laughs> it's a door. Okay, so anyway, um, this is from our friends over at Reality Chat. S side note, shout out to Reality Chat for posting this uh, clip. That's how I saw it. Um, but back to baby hairs. So anyway, um, Brooke is having a ponderosa with the ladies, and she lets them know, "Hey, girls, <laughs> uh, it's I, <laughs> it's it's a wrap for me and my husband." Okay. <laughs> <laughs> D Turner, get up in that spin class. I went to the gym today and then had to leave because I thought I had an emergency. <laughs> Spoiler alert. And so she is letting the girls know that it's it's that she it's troubles in, in the home. All right, so she apparently had <laughs> not curtains. <laughs> Wanda said, "Look like a winding road." There in their faces, the mountain. <laughs> oh God! Listen. They, but the the wine and road is on a beautiful canvas. Okay, it's on a beautiful face. It is. It's on beautiful faces. I just be like, it's what is happening? Why is this? Why is this adult hair reaching down to the eyebrow? Like I don't get it. And it's barely a separation between the eyebrow and the and the adult hair <laughs> and the, and, the, and, the, and the winding road. I don't know. Um, and so. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh god um <laughs> anyway brooke <clears throat> brooke spoiler alert brooke has been having um an intuition about her husband for a while, okay, apparently. They even showed a little clip from the last season where, you know, they were talking about she was trying to go back to IVF and he didn't really look too happy. And she was like, you don't look happy. And so um, the man fell asleep with his phone open. Now, why he do that, okay? Listen, if you've got a whole other something or other going on, you should probably protect your phone a little bit better, sir. Um, that's all I got to say. Like, you got <laughs> it, <laughs> sir. You just, you just, ah. <laughs> uh, anyway, so he leaves the phone open when he falls asleep. So she, and using her intuition, um, decides that she is gonna go through the phone. Okay. Yep, she is. And so she's going to go through that phone and she reads those text messages. Oh, yes. 
There is text messages with a young lady for which he is having a relationship with. A whole relationship. This always baffles my, like a whole relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like a whole thing about going on. And so um, she wake him up and then she hand him the phone. Okay. She hand him the phone. Look, look at it. Okay. And so she said he was just in the bed looking stupid. Right. So he was, she does clarify. He was cheating. <laughs> Josh said, you go looking for something. You're going to find it. <laughs> okay. Um, he was cheating on her. Um, she was already feeling like there was some distance between them. But she's not sure what went wrong. Like what ultimately led him to stray. You know what I'm saying? Um, but now I guess he's been calling and calling and calling and calling and calling ad nauseum. And she not, I don't think she answered the phone. So Brandy and British um, of the winding city roads, um, they ask her, well, girl, what you going to do? What you going to do? What you going to do? You know, um, as any good friends would do, you know, what you going to do, girl? And so Brooke says, I'm going to get a divorce, okay? She's going to get that good divorce because she say her kids are grown. And so she does not have the time or the strength or the energy to be dealing with no um, no, uh, no scrub that don't know what he want because he's calling and calling and calling and trying to get her back, Okay. So we're going to see how all of this plays out tonight in tonight's episode. So I do hope that you guys, yeah, and we're talking about Brooke for those of you guys who uh, were not, who who, who might have missed it, um, and not Brandy and, um, and British of the Winding Road. Um, yeah, yeah. So they're just, they're just, they're just there for moral support for her. Um, so anyway... <laughs> so that's what's going on yes come on brooke sometimes you gotta you got sometimes you gotta say deuces okay um i don't blame it either you know i mean i don't know like it would you know i don't know i guess it depends on i don't ever like to tell people what to do about okay like okay your spouse cheated on you i don't have no judgment about it because if you choose to stay, I understand it because, you know, you get into a long term relationship with somebody and y'all have things that you have built together. That's not easy to walk away from. But it sounds to me like they might not have had all that much together at that point anyway. So if she had already been feeling like the distance and she had been feeling like, oh, and her intuition, like something was wrong. I mean, it makes more sense for her to get out of this situation because anybody got time for that. Especially if he carrying on, I mean, and got a whole other relationship. You know, he didn't just go to the strip club. He was, he was, he was in the relations with the with the woman. So, I mean, I think that's a little, you know, right uh, to the left, to the left. Okay, to the left, to the left. All right. <clears throat> All right. So, listen, we're gonna be tapped in, tuned in, and turned on to basketball wives here in about an hour. It is what seven oh seven p.m. here on the East Coast. And Basketball Wives comes on tonight, uh, according to our friends over at OMFG Reality TV at 8 p.m. on VH1. So make sure you guys tune in for it. You know what I'm saying? Join the Ponderosa. We'll talk about it tomorrow afternoon. Likely, yeah, we'll probably do it tomorrow around maybe 1 or so, 1 or 2 p.m. So uh, that's Eastern Standard Time for those of you guys who are in other parts of the world and watching and tuned in and tapped in and turned on to us, you know, tonight. So um, be on the lookout for that. And if in, there's any other news, best believe I'll be back early in the morning uh, to uh, give it to you. You know what I'm saying? Um, in the meantime, and in between time, um, listen, uh, stay off these winding roads. <laughs> And we will catch you all in the next video.